Um, Heather's joining us. Hello, Heather. Hello, Nikki. I believe you're a Charlton Athletic customer. Yes, I am. No, I'm not, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yes, I am. No, I'm, I'm not. It makes perfect fan. sense. Tell us more. Um, I'm a Charlton Athletic fan and have been since the 70s. Um, in the meantime, I did manage to go off and get myself a degree somewhere along the way, Graham. Sorry about that. Um, we're not all of limited intelligence. Um, it, Charlton has really been struggling with this issue for the last couple of years since we were bought by Roland de Chatelet, who's a Belgian multimillionaire, uh, made his money from microelectronics, so he's very bona fide. Um, but at the same time, we're not really quite sure what his motives or interest in football are. Um, he never attends a game. I think he's attended just two or three games since he's owned the club, although apparently he watches all our matches on a live stream in Belgium. Um, he, our suspicion is that he's in it to try and prove that you can break even in football um, which on the surface is maybe a laudable ambition but I think in the current climate is just next to impossible and the way the club's actually being run on a day-to-day -day basis just shows next to no understanding of kind of the heart and soul of what football is all about. Um, we certainly don't you know, have high expectations. I think most Charlton fans accept that being competitive in the championship is about our normal level. Um, we'd love to be able to compete and have a chance of getting into the playoffs and into the premiership. Obviously, we were there not that long ago um, for a decent length of time under Alan Kirbyshire. Um But the last three seasons, we've been faced with a you know, end-of-season relegation battle. Um, we're in the same situation this season. We've had five or six managers since the new owner took over, two, you know, say, two years ago. Um, we've just about scraped staying up those last um, two seasons. We may be able to achieve that again this season, but it's more by luck than judgment. Um, and in the meantime, our chief executive um, was filmed at a web summit in Dublin saying that she found it weird that fans feel a sense of ownership for the club when someone else is paying the bills. That's interesting. 